Hi, it's Kermitex here, and in this series of videos, I'm going to be showing you how to build Beyond Linux from scratch 12.0. So when I say showing you how to build it, um, BLFS is a different beast from LFS. LFS is a basically a recipe which you follow step by step, and you'll end up with um, a system the same as anybody else who follows those instructions. With BLFS, it's a bit more like the recipe book itself. There are several recipes in there, and you pick the ones that you want. And because there are shared libraries, it may mean that if you install um, package A, which requires dependencies X, Y, and Z, you'd install them in that order, for example, X, Y, and Z. And then you went to install package B, it might need um, dependencies Z, Y, X, for example. So if you did package B first and you installed the dependencies Z, Y, X, obviously it's in reverse, it's different, although they share the same libraries. So the order you might do things is different depending on what packages you want to install and the order of those packages as well. So although I'm going to go through in a specific way, it's not necessarily... The, well, it isn't the only way, um, and not, not necessarily going to be the way you might want to do it. You might not want to install something that I'm going to install. You might want to uh, not install something I'm going to install. So it's kind of just gives you an idea of how to build Beyond Linux from scratch. Obviously, you might want to follow exactly what I do just to uh, get the system up and running without having any particular uh, preference as to what is installed. And then maybe going on to do Beyond Linux from scratch again, but with your own choices. So, um, yeah, so it's it's not uh, the definite way of doing it. Um, not to say it's the right way of doing it by, by any means, um, but it's certainly one way of doing it. Um, another thing I should mention is that because Beyond Linux from scratch is such a big um, system to build, if you like, to you know what what I normally do when I do these videos is to build a desktop machine with you know full functionality which incorporates most of what's in the beyond Linux and scratch book um, and because of that um, it takes a lot of time and normally when I do these videos I'll do some trial runs I may do you know what I do in the videos maybe well certainly once normally and maybe two or three times just to hone down what what I want to talk about on the videos because beyond beyond the Linux from scratch is such a big uh, package it, it could take several weeks for each iteration to do it manually um, doing it automatically kind of defeats the object uh, because I'm not doing it manually I can't see what issues I might come across and so on so because of that I'm what you'll be seeing in these videos is me doing this for the first time for this particular version yes I have done Beyond the Linux and Scratch in previous versions, but if you appreciate each version, there are changes that are made, there are new packages, there could be new bugs in the book that haven't been found out at the time of publishing and so on. So what you'll see in these videos is the raw, um, yeah, the raw uh, me doing the, the, the Beyond the Linux and Scratch book, if you like, without any... Um, bits that have been polished off or anything at all so I'm bound to come across problems that I may need to go offline to solve but um, if that is the case then obviously I'll be telling you how I resolved it it could be a mistake I've made it was quite possible it's quite easy to make mistakes it's such a complicated process it's a lot of reading it's a lot of copying and pasting things can be missed things can be misunderstood and so on so um, even in the videos I've done pre previously where I have practiced them, you know, people have said, oh, this, this might be wrong what you've done. And certainly, yeah, I've done things wrong on a video and uh, I'm quite prepared for people to point out these things. It doesn't bother me. It's, it's good, actually, because if somebody else comes along, sees the mistake I'm doing, they can see that it's been corrected. That that helps them as well. So, um, yeah, so you'll you'll see the, the, the raw uh, installation as I do it on the screen. Um, I also try and do this, I imagine myself, you know, if you've got just a machine there with Linux and Scratch just being built, it's quite a basic 
system and there are ways of getting around getting a quick installation for example you could go into uh, the true environment again and do a lot of the building there which is quite convenient but the problem was true problems with true some some tests can fail there's possibility the installation might not go as planned um, might be something different there are bits through the book where it says um, if you're doing this in true environment you've got to do slight things slightly differently so because of that i, I like to do things um, like on the bare metal if you like in the real environment so that's what i'll be doing again i'll be just booting into linux and scratch because there's no browser um there's very little connectivity actually even for fetching files um, i'll be showing you how i get around that and start to build up what is an extremely basic system into a fully fledged um, desktop system using all the instructions that uh, have been put together in blfs so to get to the blfs book you can see i'm on the home page of the linux from scratch um, website uh, you can either click this link here or click up here uh, if you use the right mouse so we'll click up there and you can see that it's gone to the main page for blfs and then all you need to do after that is to click on read online um, you may even it might even be helpful actually if you've got another machine to initially read the book on on that machine because initially, initially like i say there's there's virtually nothing we can do with the system uh, it's we can fetch files off the internet but it's difficult we can only fetch them from ftp uh, servers and there aren't um package some packages available via ftp um there's certainly no web browser there's certainly no gui so it may be handy if you've got a phone or a tablet or another computer by your side to to have that available so you can read the book while you're doing the install installation or alternatively maybe you want to print out parts of the book uh, that you think you might need until you get um some sort of connectivity with a web browser uh, what we'll be showing is how to fetch the initial files to enable us to get wget, which will enable us to get any file off the internet, um, and then be going to fetching files to get a text-based browser, uh, files to allow us to use a mouse within the terminal, a text-based terminal, and then from there we'll start to build up the um, system itself in fact what I might do is to install um, ssh server so that we can access the system remotely um, and carry on from there it's a lot easier but it does to do that it does mean that you'll need um, obviously a separate machine that you can use ssh to log into your lfs machine which is by far um, an easier way of doing things um, I have done it before in the past where it's just using a text-based browser, but it's a great deal of work. It's very prone to error um, because there's a lot of packages you've got to install before you even get to a GUI, let alone getting a, a web browser up and running. So I think I'll be doing it um, that way. Um, but yeah, so read online, go to the book, it's just click on here. Um, you can actually download the book, like I say, to read offline or to print it, which is under the download option here. And there's several different formats there. But yeah, read online is what I'll be doing. In fact, um, I just thought I'll, I'll probably download it as well because occasionally my internet does disappear. Um, and that's the book there. So what I'll be doing, you won't see this initially because I will be on the terminal. I'll be reading this on another terminal that you won't be able to see that won't be able to record um, and like I say I'll just get the connectivity going and um, open SSH uh, and then I'll show uh, another terminal where I'll be SSHing into the uh, LFS machine which is funny enough the one I'm on at the moment so this this is the actual machine I will be building the Linux from scratch on so I'll start by Closing this down and booting into the Linux from scratch machine and starting off with the build from there. <laughs> 